There are plenty of terrifying animals in the world, but many of the animals we're most scared of aren't all that much of an issue. In fact, many of them are downright friendly and love being around people. Today, we're going to dispel the myths surrounding 10 terrifying animals that are actually friendly and give you some exotic pet suggestions at the same time. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all our latest and most exciting content. Number 10. Eel Eels of all types are pretty freaky, and plenty of people around the world are terrified of them. As it turns out, there's no reason to be worried about eels, for the most part, and most of them are actually quite friendly. There are plenty of videos showcasing just how cuddly eels really are, showing eels curling up with scuba divers. There's even a few that feature moray eels, which are widely considered to have a bit of a bad temperament. It seems that eels got a bad rap and that they aren't the terrifying sea snakes that everyone assumes them to be. That being said, some species of eel can be aggressive at times. Still, the number of friendly snakes compared to aggressive ones shows that eels are overwhelmingly pretty happy creatures that have no issues swimming up to a person in order to investigate them a little further. If you're willing to let an eel get close to you, you might just be surprised by how easygoing it is, as many divers have found. Eels are generally pretty much harmless to people, and they obviously don't want to start picking a fight with someone that can end up causing unnecessary trouble. Number 9. Python Pythons are fearsome carnivores that constrict their prey in order to kill it. They can grow to be absolutely enormous, able to devour any animals they come across. There are around 10 accepted python species that live all over the world. When introduced to a new environment, they tend to take over quickly, being well known as a troublesome invasive species. Even though they're truly terrifying creatures, many people actually keep pythons as pets. Pythons, it seems, are actually quite fond of people when raised properly and make exceptional, albeit costly, pets. Many issues involving pythons taking over new areas comes down to people releasing pet pythons when they grow too large to properly care for. Pythons aren't known for attacking people, and while pythons' attacks on humans do occur, attacks are minimal. Most pythons are more than happy to climb all over a person without causing them any harm, and many pythons seem to gravitate towards human contact. They form close bonds with people who they come into regular contact with and exhibit signs of excited, some might say happy, behavior when they show up. It's strange to think that snakes would be relatively fond of people, but pythons are a great pet and are quite loving, as long as they continue to be fed, of course. We'd love to hear what you think about having any snake as a pet in the comments. Number 8. Vampire Bat while we don't suggest keeping a vampire bat as a pet, we can safely say that vampire bats pose absolutely no threat to humans, despite their terrifying name. They do require blood as a source of food, but they rarely feed on people to do so. Furthermore, the animals that they do prey on don't usually suffer any harm at all, although we suspect that vampire bats are a bit annoying. It's not entirely clear how vampire bats evolved to feed on blood, but there are some impressive theories, each of which could very well be the answer. We do know that vampire bats diverged from the rest of its family around 26 million years ago. Recently, its saliva was found to have medicinal properties as an anticoagulant to help stroke patients. When it comes to their social circles, vampire bats are especially caring and friendly. Vampire bats allow other vampire bats to feed on them if they need a little boost, and female vampire bats routinely help raise the babies of other bats, sheltering them and caring for them if needed. As you can see, vampire bats are actually pretty friendly. They do look a little nightmarish, but once you get over their looks, they might actually end up being great pets, if you're into that sort of thing. Number 7. Rat Speaking of pets, rats actually make awesome pets. They're loving, intelligent, and pretty adorable when they're raised in captivity. Pet rats are nothing like wild street rats, and many people find them to be the best pets ever. We're not sure we'd go that far, but we do have to admit that pet rats can be pretty adorable. The best known species of rat are the black rat and brown rat, although there are plenty of different species. They're larger than mice, but are still pretty tiny for the most part. That said, some rats can grow to be pretty damn big. Most pet rats are brown rats, but people also raise black rats to a lesser extent. 
Rats that have been in captivity for multiple generations are also more affectionate than those bred from a wild rat. They also don't pose any more of a health risk to humans than any other pet, despite the idea that all rats carry disease. Rats can also be taught tricks or other complex behaviors, which is pretty neat. We know that rats aren't everyone's cup of tea. But it goes without saying that they're pretty friendly, both when it comes to humans and each other. Rats can recognize their owners and other people who they come into contact with on a regular basis. They also regularly attempt to help groom their owners as a sign of affection. It's pretty endearing when all's said and done. Number 6. Vulture Incredibly social creatures, vultures form close bonds with each other. These bonds can last a lifetime and are especially tight when it comes to mating pairs. Young vultures also often stay with their parents for extended periods of time, with some never actually leaving the nest. Vultures are scavengers and aren't aggressive by nature. They also benefit from gathering together in groups. Now, we don't recommend that anyone tries to go out and get a pet vulture anytime soon. We're sure that they'd happily bond with a human as well as they they bond with each other, but as an exotic pet, they'd end up taking a lot more work to keep one than most people are able to put in. Number 5. African Millipede Also known as the giant African millipede, this enormous millipede can grow to be over a foot long. That's the stuff of most people's worst nightmares. But once again, our fears have been entirely misguided. Turns out that millipedes are very tame and make for great pets. When threatened, they secrete an irritating liquid that can cause skin issues. But if you leave them alone and don't surprise them, then they're no worry at all. People keep these millipedes as pets all over the world and say that they're super chilled out and perfect for all types of people, even families. We're not sure just how playful or intelligent a millipede can be, but they do seem Seem like they don't pose much of a threat. Then again, we might pass on having a millipede as a pet for now. Number 4. Tarantula Tarantulas have a reputation for being killer spiders, but they actually pose a minimal threat to people. They are more likely to scurry off and hide if confronted, and the worst they can really do is cover you in itchy hairs. Tarantulas gain their reputation because they're quite large spiders and do have a menacing appearance. Their bite can also leave a human victim feeling agitated, which gives the tarantula dance its name. Popular exotic pets, tarantulas are pretty sweet, especially with their owners. As long as you don't startle a pet tarantula, it'll just happily crawl all over you, exploring the entire time. Even in the wild, they're fairly docile and won't attack unless it's their final resort. At the end of the day, if you don't mess with them, then they're more than happy to be friendly with you. Number 3. Blue-Tongued Skink one very strange pet that owners say is pretty friendly, despite its looks, is the blue-tongued skink. This little lizard looks prehistoric and has a shocking blue tongue, which is where it gets its name from. Popular pets, blue-tongued skinks, are fairly shy pets and don't really enjoy being around new people. On the other hand, they form close bonds with their owners and really enjoy spending time lazing around or playing with them. In fact, most reptiles have pretty docile, friendly demeanors, which makes them great pets. Blue-tongued skinks pose no threat to humans, and they don't grow to be very large at all, which makes them awesome little companions. They eat insects and only grow to lengths of around 45 centimeters in total. Number 2. Hissing Cockroach the Madagascar hissing cockroach is one of the largest species of cockroach in the entire world and are native to, of course, Madagascar. They can reach lengths of around 2 to 3 inches long and feed primarily on vegetable material. Hissing cockroaches are a little different than the cockroaches we've learned to hate, but they're still pretty creepy looking. Still, many people enjoy keeping them as pets. In captivity, they've been known to live up to five years, so if you decide to get one for yourself, then you're going to be in it for the long haul. They're definitely considered exotic pets and don't require much space to live comfortably. They also don't like light and tend to run and hide if light sources get too bright. People who own hissing cockroaches say that they're exceptionally social creatures that enjoy spending time with their owners and each other. They only hiss when they're stressed out or feel threatened, so you won't have to worry about them constantly hissing, although we're sure it's a bit of an issue anyway. Number 1. Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats are absolutely terrifying to look at. They're pretty much hairless, except for a few scraggly hairs sticking out here and there. They also have freaky looking eyes, although they're able to see. They're born blind and weigh only around 2 grams when first born. One of their most impressive features is their two massive front teeth, which help aid them in digging tunnels. In the wild, they spend most of their lives underground, 
living in colonies with around 20 to 300 individuals packed into their tunnels. Naked mole rats also lack an insulating layer in the skin, so they get cold really easily. All those bodies help to keep them warm when it's cold. When it gets too hot, they simply retreat to cooler parts of their burrow. They have a complex social structure and seem to thrive on contact with each other. Secluded naked mole rats have been said to exhibit signs of depression, but they're more than happy when they've got someone to play with. It's interesting to note that naked mole rats have a ridiculously high resistance to cancer, so it might be worth it for us to look into how they're able to pull that off with such impressive success. Even more interesting is the idea that other varieties of mole rats also have built-in cancer resistance, but they use a different mechanism putting the naked mole rat in a league of its own, so to speak. And that's 10 terrifying animals that are actually friendly. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.